In this video, we're going to find the maximum value of an objective function given constraints by graphing. So basically, we're going to graph these four uh, inequalities, and then we're going to see which of these inequalities um, or which of these points solutions that are inside this region that we'll get when we graph these satisfy this equation here. So how we start is we're going to graph. Well, we probably should put these in slope intercept form first. So if I put this equation in slope intercept form, that would be y is less than or equal to negative x when I subtract the x over plus 8. For this one, I'm going to need to do a little rewriting. I want it in y equals mx plus b form. That's slope intercept form. So I'm going to say 2x plus 3y greater than or equal to 6. I'm going to subtract 2x from each side. So I get 3y greater than or equal to negative 2x plus 6. Divide by 3. And y is going to be greater than or equal to negative 2 thirds x plus 2. Now I'm going to go ahead and draw this coordinate plane. And I got to be pretty specific when I draw this because I want to make sure that I can clearly see where the edges of our region are. So I'm going to plot a lot of points. Let's start by marking Our coordinate plane, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. Okay. Y-intercept for this first equation is 8, so we'll go up to 8. And if I go down 1 over 1, over and over again, down one over one, I'm going to end up at a value of eight down here as well. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So my line is going to go straight through these dots right here. And I'm going to be shading, it says y is less than, so I'll be shading underneath. We can check it with 0, 0 to make sure. So that's 0 less than or equal to uh, 0 plus 8. 0 less than or equal to 8, that's true. So we're going to be shading this direction. And then we're going to graph this one. We're going to go up to 2. And we're going to go down 2 over 3. So 1, 2, 1, 2, 3. And we're going to do this over and over again. So down 2 over 3. Down 2 over 3 more. And we're going to get this line right here, which looks like so. And it says we're going to shade, uh, it says y greater than that, so we're going to be shading above, but we can check that with 0, 0. And that would be 0 greater than or equal to negative 2 thirds times 0 plus 2 is 0 greater than or equal to 2. That is false. So we're shading away from 0, 0, which is here. Be shading this direction. Now we're going to graph x greater than or equal to 0 and y greater than or equal to 0. I'm going to do those in a little different color. So we've got uh, x greater than or equal to 0, vertical line here. And 
y greater than or equal to zero, we have this horizontal line here. This one's being shaded this direction. And this one's being shaded this direction. So you can see that all of our shades, if we keep pointing all these, you'll see they're all pointed toward each other. These two lines point this way. This one's pointing in this direction. And the pink line is pointing also in this direction. So we're finding our feasible solutions in here. Oop, that went a little too far underneath. I'm gonna do that a little different. It's doing black, it should be in here. Not below that line, not above that line, but right in here. Now we really have four, they're just saying to maximize, we really have four possibilities for maximizing. We have all these intersection points here, we got four of them. This coordinate is 0, 8. This coordinate is 8, 0. This coordinate here is 3, 0. And this one is 0, 2. So we have four choices for our maximum. So what we're going to do is we're going to take this equation. I'll write it down here. And I'm going to plug those coordinates in and see which one's the largest. So we're going to start with P of 0, 8 would be 6 times 0 plus 8 times 8 plus 37. And that gives you 8 times 8 is 64. Add 37. That'd be 94, it would be 101. And then we're going to plug in 8, 0. So we're going to say P of 8, 0. That's 6 times 8 plus 8 times 0 plus 37. That gives you 48 plus 37. So that's going to be 85. So you can see that this coordinate is producing a higher value. So that's our maximum for right now. We're going to plug in 0, 2. So P of 0, 2, 6 times 0, plus 8 times 2, plus 37. You can see that's going to be smaller, 37 and 16. It'll be 53. And then P of 3, 0. That'd be 6 times 3, plus 8 times 0 plus 37, which is 18 plus 37, that'd be 55. So our maximum would be this 0, 8 coordinate right here. That's how you find the maximum.